Hey everybody, so today's the day. I've got the uh, tow truck scheduled and we're gonna get uh, get the Datsun sent off to Datsun Spirit. So I've got to rearrange some things, gotta get the bike out of the way, get her off of these little roller skates, see if I can get it started, get her out of the garage, out into the street, and once I get all that done, uh, we'll get her loaded up and off to Datsun Spirit. We'll see you then. Here, why I'm taking her in to have her adjusted and tuned. She spits and sputters and Hey everybody, so I'm outside, still waiting for the tow truck to come. They're almost an hour late, and they'll end up being an hour late um, by the time they get here. I had to call them and ask them where they were after scheduling it this morning. So I'm a little bit upset with these people. They uh, told me their flatbed tow trucks are both out of state. And all they have is some tow dolly thing, I'm not really sure what it is. But he said all four wheels can be off the ground, so fine, I'm good with that. But it seemed like they were just going to not show up. I had to call them, and they put me on hold for almost 10 minutes before they figured out what the hell they were doing. So if you're in the Northern Virginia area, and you want to use black horse transportation, don't bother. I think they're... I can't remember the name of their... They have another name. Advanced Automotive Incorporated or something like that. I'll look it up. Don't bother using them. Hey guys, so I'm just driving back from Dotson Spirit. Uh, I didn't get to film much, or I didn't film at all uh, at Dotson Spirit, just talking with EG and getting really worked out, just didn't have the opportunity to film. Uh, he thinks he'll probably have the car for a couple of weeks, so we probably won't have any updates on anything until then. His first priority is to get the car running well, and uh, so he's gonna sort out uh, you know, whatever's going on with the carbs. He doesn't think that will be too much of a big deal, but of course he said you know, the carburetors could be bad and may need to just be replaced entirely. Sorry about that, I had a phone call from the wife. Um, where was I? Oh, so I think I was talking about the carburetors. So he thinks he'll be able to get the car running pretty easily. He's gonna take a look at the big clunk in the rear end. Um, he's not sure, of course, what it is until he test, takes for a test drive, gets it up on the lift, and checks everything out. So I probably won't hear anything back from that for a couple of weeks and I'll just do an update when the car comes back and we'll take it for a little drive and see how well she goes. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you next time. <laughs> 